Welcome to another Sunday brunch vlog from Couple Eats World. We had the Sunday brunch at the Conrad Hotel in Bangalore. The hotel lobby is compact, looks modern and chic. We entered the restaurant, which is at hotel lobby level, and quick to find opposite the main entrance. This Sunday brunch was decent but did not excite us too much. The overall vibe of the restaurant was alright. The interior is not too cozy, but the arrangement of the dishes and presentation, especially the salad and dessert counter, were spectacular. This brunch has a colorful selection of Indian, Asian and European dishes, a carving station, fresh seafood, vegetarian and non-vegetarian biryani, offered a large variety of breads, pastries, cheese, salads, cold cuts, sushi, waffle and pancakes, fresh roots and a fairly large dessert selection. <coughs> the pastries were alright. The raspberry croissants were somewhat soggy but looked delightful. And the wild berry croffins and the multigrain croissants were delish. dishes were also okay, maybe a bit bland. but it felt that there were too many chefs roaming around, which gave a canteen ambience at times. The salads were tasty and presented very beautifully. They looked like paintings. It was difficult to decide on which one to try first. All looked tempting. The combination of colors and ingredients allowed for a flavor explosion in your mouth. foods was overall great, but the waffle and pancake section seemed a bit off between salads and cold cuts. Would have preferred them closer to the fruits or by the dessert corner. The sushi section was a delight, a good variety and very tasteful.
had the standard Indian dishes as well as Asian dishes, which were decent, but nothing to rave about. However, the prawns as well as the veg biryani were great, full of fragrance and flavor. South Indian seafood selection best. We loved the way they fried the fish and the seafood in a spicy paste. It was lip smacking and well executed. One of the few sections we had more servings of. There were not so many large groups that Sunday, so we appreciated that it wasn't that noisy as it often can be at Sunday brunches for larger groups. The dessert corner felt a bit detached from the brunch as the dessert counter was almost out of the restaurant and nearly in the lobby. However, the patisserie and desserts looked stunning. Definitely great skills and super tempting. Each of the desserts and cakes were no doubt more than beautiful, but we did not enjoy all of it. Some of the combinations just did not work for us, but that's personal taste. Yet the overall presentation was impeccable. Some of the cakes and treats looked fit for a magazine shoot. This Sunday brunch left us with mixed feelings. We think it was a decent experience, in our opinion not the largest brunch and culinary not too extravagant. But dishes are skillfully prepared, especially the cakes and salads were looking stunning. Some dishes were average and other dishes were tasty. The decadence and luxury one might be after in a Sunday brunch was missing overall. You can be sure, however, to spend a lovely afternoon savoring on different foods. There will be something for everyone. The highlight by far was the seafood. There's also kids corner to keep the little ones entertained and with all good Sunday brunches, there was live music too. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, Share and subscribe.